When's the last time you felt truly, deeply alive? When's the last time that something captured you completely? The year was 2019. I decided to go on my first adventure alone. I packed my car stuffed to the brim with gear and I head off alone to a hotel two and a half hours away in the middle of nowhere in a place where there was no service and no town, all just because I had this idea of fun. It was me, my car, and an idea. At seven the next morning, I got to the motorcycle track and the motorcycles were literally just screaming at you. There's not even another word that I can use to describe it. They're literally yelling at the top of their lungs, notice me. You can smell the petrol and you see how the sun is just glittering everywhere. The oil on the ground is shimmering. The pavement is rough and it's vibrant and it just commands respect. The whole thing commands respect. You see this beautiful intersection between the man and the machine and I couldn't have been more excited. Now you don't just set off because that would be completely disrespectful to the entire process and the entire beauty of the whole thing. No, you start by learning, you start by taking notes, you go to the paddock and you do the research with the track head that day. You're learning which turns are lefts and which are rights and which turns have an increasing or decreasing radius, which ones go up, which ones go down, how sharp those turns are. You're learning the map and you're practicing memorizing all the things that you're gonna need to implement later on in the day once you actually do get to the tarmac. And it's this whole beautiful act. It's this intentional act of learning and preparing and then being able to utilize those notes by training, by practicing, by implementing them, by learning with the machine. And in this way, you're gonna dance all day. Prepare, attack, prepare, attack, learn, go, learn, go, off, on, off, on. But what are we really talking about here? What are we really talking about when I say paddock, tarmac, paddock, tarmac, all day? And it's not just that. See, it doesn't stop there. It actually just starts there because that on, off, on, off mentality that you have to be in in order to execute that dance properly it doesn't end between the sessions, it's going on inside of them as well. The feeling breaks down further, it gets down to the man and the machine. You can't lose that intentionality once you're on. You need to understand that this is a machine that can kill you. One false move and you can end up 30 feet in the air, you can end up off the tarmac, you can end up in serious, serious conditions. So you need to maintain that focus throughout and you maintain that focus by fixating on one thing at a time. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. I'm here to tell you that the way that you avoid a crash on a motorcycle track as you do in life is by focusing completely on one thing at a time. The key to avoiding that crash is to be off or on and never in between. See on the track, the bike and the pavement are performing this beautiful dance that you get to be in the middle of. And you wanna get that bike as close to the ground as possible so you can go as fast as possible, but you never want that bike to touch the ground because the second that that bike hits the ground, it's game over. Now the way that you maintain that dance is by keeping the rhythm, keeping the cadence, because keeping the cadence is gonna keep you being smooth. And smooth means consistent, and smooth means intentional. And this is the ultimate metaphor for life. When you're on a bike on the track, you always need to be on the gas or you need to be on the brake. You can never be coasting, because if you coast through a corner, you're neutral. And when you're in neutral, you have zero control. Gravity and your speed and all these other forces are gonna dictate the moves that you make. And if something else is dictating the moves that you're making in life, you're not in control of the dance. You don't know what you're doing. You need to be in control at all times. And that means you're either on the gas, you're either entering that corner really, really fast, or you're on the brake. You're slowing down, you're gearing up, you're getting ready to ramp back up. Coasting destabilizes the dance. It's gonna tell the bike that you're no longer in control, that something else is gonna be in control of you. Gravity, your speed, the direction that you were taking beforehand, 
all of these things, we're talking about a bike, but we're talking about life because you don't get what you want by coasting. You always need to be on or you need to be off. There is no in between. I think in a culture today where we talk a lot about productivity and this grind mentality and how you need to hustle really hard to get your dreams, I want you to take a step back and stop. Because the reality is that you don't burn out because you're going too hard. You burn out because you're going too hard for too long and you're not prioritizing that rest and you're not resting intentionally when you even rest. What do I mean by this? Well, how many times do you catch yourself watching YouTube or Netflix and you're thinking about something else? You're not actually watching the show. You're not actually slowing down and utilizing that resting mechanism for the purpose that it serves, rest. You're kind of just sitting down and you're thinking about something else and you're gearing up and you're preparing for this other thing that you're about to do. You're not in the moment. And when you're not in the moment, you're not on the gas and you're not on the brake, you're coasting. And when you let your mind stay in that place for too long, you're never going to be in control and that's going to cause you to make the wrong turns and it's probably going to cause you to crash. So pour yourself 100% into whatever zone you're in. When you're working on those creative projects or work that matters to you, go 100%. Give yourself 100% of your best effort. And when you feel like you need to take a break, take that break. There's nothing wrong with that break. The only issue is if you grind too hard without taking a break. And if when you take that break, you're not actually slowing down and letting your brain shut off. You're not giving it the rest that you think on paper you're giving it. If you do that, if you let both forces have a seat at the table, then there is no crash. There's just a beautiful dance between where you are and where you're going. And the man and the machine that that man is trying to build can get there together. So remember, gas or brake, never in between. You're gonna get wherever it is that you're trying to go. Way faster, way smarter, and way healthier. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next week.